151 is doing crazy stuff on the market right now. We're going to look at sealed, singles, everything about what 151 is doing. And then towards the end of the video, we're going to be talking about the restock reprint thing. I'm going to address all of that. That's going to be at the end, but let's just jump straight into this. So um, we're going to look at some data uh, with the Elite Trainer Boxes first. Now, this is kind of crazy, honestly. The 151 Elite Trainer Boxes, the English just cracked $70, which is kind of crazy, honestly. And if you look at some of these sales, we got 74, 73, 74. So, like, these are, this is over $70 already, which is kind of crazy to think because not that long ago they were pretty affordable. You pull up the one year chart, I mean, it's kind of crazy up 35%. Like, you could have got these for 40 bucks and now they're over 70, which is honestly just insane. I can't believe that they're at this price. But some data that we're going to look at. Um, Keep in mind that this is just TCG player. This is not um, this is not the entire market. I'm aware of that, right? W there's no way to know exactly how the entire market is. But what we do have is over this past month, 238 elite trainer boxes are sold have been sold on TCG player, uh, even at this high price. So that made me ask the question: Well, what are some of the other train? How many of the other trainer boxes are selling? Right? How does 151 stack up? Well, Crown Zenith well, currently. 50 bucks a box, a lot more affordable, amazing set, widely regarded as a great set, fun to open. And last month on TCG Player, 90 sold. Okay? So just to refresh, 238, okay? 238 was 151. Well, let's take a look at um, Paldean Fates. Super affordable box, um, pretty decent set. Card prices have been holding steady, specialty set, so elite trainer boxes are kind of the way to go. Uh, 134 sold over the past month. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's compare it with a more popular set. Let's take a look at Twilight. Super cheap uh, ETBs, you know, in the $30 range, 200 sold. So it's still, it's outselling that. Well, let's take a look at the latest set. It's, uh, you know, had a little bit of a bungle with the ETBs being released. Well, let's take a look at Shrouded Fable. Can it outsell the, the most popular, or not the most popular, the newest set? Turns out that's where it meets its match. Um, it's hard to, these still aren't even out by the way, because anyways, we're not gonna talk about that, but um, 531 sold in the past month, and that's because this is the newest set. So that's, it's doing real good is my point. Um, if it, the ETBs are outselling all of these with, except for the brand new set that still isn't even out yet, like it's about to launch. Um, very interesting. So you're going to see a recurring theme on some of the sealed product. I just wanted to touch on the, the booster bundles, which they're they're over 50 bucks. I know this says $48 right here, but um, last sales. Look at these booster bundle, bundle sales. $55, $55, $55, $52 for booster bundles. Guys, there's only six packs in here. There's no way these should be $55. Like, oh, man. So... It's just kind of crazy, and if we look at the one month, 468 sold. Um, 151 is just, it's crazy. It is so popular. The strength set, the set of the strength, the, the, how the market is taking it, is pretty crazy, honestly. It's so popular, and rightfully so. Um, but let's take a look at another product, like the UPC. Um, this just had a big jump up. Um, hundred and it was cracking like 140 almost but now it's it's back down a little into 133s um we could have guys you could have had these all day long for 80 bucks 80 90 bucks they were they were at costco they were at i think gamestop they were at everywhere they were online on tiktok and everywhere they were so cheap and look where we're at now it's just it's just kind of crazy um we do have some 145 sales on here um but yeah it's kind of it's dipped down a little bit around 130 so UPCs are just crazy right now um, the so this is the Pokemon Center exclusive elite trainer box look at how steady this chart is it's kind of crazy it's just a very linear just moving up uh, yeah so um, this is a little bit more of an exception not you can see in the past three months only 158 have sold but um, yeah 130 bucks 
but it just it's just steadily climbing up the pokemon center exclusive everything is just moving it's it's crazy um the zapdos collection box look at that up 35 percent 36 bucks a box now same thing not that many of these have been selling on tcg player but it is important just to see where things are at 36 dollars a box and 50 sold 49 sold in the past month with almost 30 percent in the last month alone so uh that's there, there's just not product available so that's what's getting interesting even the uh booster packs just a you know, gamble away getting a, a loose pack from something that you don't know where it came from. Uh, up 11%, seven, seven dollars a pack for 151. It's just, it's crazy. It really is crazy. Um, it's a wild, wild time with 151. Um, here, this is just another example of how they were just readily available not that long ago. Uh, these were the Costco. Um, if you weren't familiar, these, these were kind of seemed like everywhere but um 151 you could get an etb and then two of these like scarlet and violet tins for 70 bucks uh so now that the etb is like that price the tins are almost free <laughs> i'm just saying um but yeah it was crown zenith and 151 they bundled it with two tins scarlet and violet tins um tried to try to move those tins um but you know, and I think a lot of people pass on it because of the tins, but look at where we're at now. So, um, yeah, sealed product, just, it's insane. Um, let's move into some singles here. And just, like, there's not a ton that are having big moves currently, uh, but it seems like they're kind of all creeping up as far as English goes. The Blastoise, um, up 16% in the last month, which is, whew, that's those are pretty good numbers. Sixteen percent is nothing to sneeze at, and it's twelve percent on the three-month chart. Um, beautiful artwork. Um, Arita did the artwork on this card. Absolutely, absolutely stunning card. I'm glad to see that this is getting a little bit more of attention. Um, cracking that fifty-dollar range finally, which is interesting. If you pull out the, it, it cracked it a while ago, and I mean it dipped back down, but it, it had its lows around forty. But it's nice to see that up around 50 bucks. Um, you can see a sale at, even at 58. You can see a sale at 69. So kind of crazy. Um, then this card is not as popular of a card. Not as popular of a Pokemon. But some crazy moves from the Golem. Uh, I don't know if this is people uh, just needing to complete their master set. And just needing the Golem. Or it could be a buyout or something I suppose. Um, but that's once again dollar amount. Um not the biggest move, but 27% and 22% on the three months. So um, just a big mover I wanted to point out there. Uh, then we'll touch on the... Okay, so the Dragonair. Um, stunning card, by the way. Glad to see that this card's getting some more movement as well. 19% on the one month. 21.29% on the three month. Um, Could have got this for 12 bucks, and now it's going for... This is very interesting. Check this out. Don't know what this is about. $28. So, but you can see another sale down here, $26. Um, but yeah, $28 sale. That's kind of wild. That was today. Um, so yeah, um, just, just steady, steady movement, right? So that's showing us that there's a lot of demand for the set, for the singles. Um, look at Polyworld up 14.6%, almost 20% on the three month, just chugging up right? Could have had this for sub 10 and now it's like 12, 13 bucks. Um, yeah, you see some sales for 11. So this looks like this might be coming down a little bit, but good movement on some of these cards. Um, let's just take a look real quick. Uh, I want to jump into the Japanese side of things just a little, um, because I do think that it, it's important. Um, we're going to take a look at the booster boxes uh, price here. So, if you guys aren't familiar, in January, these were two, over $200, okay? So, um, and they printed the ever-loving crap out of this uh, to bring this down because um, you got to keep in mind that Japanese MSRP for a booster box, I think it's like, I think it's like 30-something, like high 30s, 
if I remember correctly. Uh, don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, for, for it to be going for over 200 is crazy. Um, but I pointed this out a while ago. It looked like we kind of might have found our bottom in June on these boxes, around 65 bucks, And it's been seeing a slow, just steady climbing back up, right? So it's a common theme for 151 65 bucks, 67 bucks. Now we're into 73. Um, you can see sales up here, 85, most recent on eBay as of today. So uh, Japanese boxes are on on the uptick. Um, what you're not going to see, um, you, you can see some of the um, most expensive cards here. What you're not really seeing with the Japanese, which makes sense, is a lot of these singles are declining because so many people are ripping boxes, supply and demand, so more singles. Less boxes are available, so the box prices are going up, single prices are coming down. Um, but we'll take a look at a few. Um, here's a little bit of an exception. Uh, the Gengar Master Ball, if you aren't familiar, they have Master Balls for Japanese, uh, where it's one per box. That will have the Master Ball reverse pattern. Um, it's unfortunate we didn't get that in English, but um, the Gengar seems like it might be bouncing back. It bottomed out at just under 140. It's on a little bit of an uptick, up to 150. Um, in August, so uh, bucking the trend a little bit there. Um, here's an, another example: the Charizard. It's just on a steady decline. It's kind of crazy, um, but with so many boxes being open, like I said, it's going to flood the market with singles. So it makes sense. Um, back in July of last year, it was 184, and we're just chugging down, right? It it went below 100 right here in April, then to 90, 82, 80, 75 dollars. You can see some sales here in the 60s, 67. So um, that's what it's doing to the singles market. The Venusaur, um, it's it's looks like it might have hit its bottom possibly for now. 30 bucks, it's up to 32 now. A little bit of a bump um, on the Venusaur. Uh, the Blastoise, similar chart to the Charizard. 62 all the way down to 30 bucks was 30 yeah i mean just literally like 39 35 33 32 30 right so um yeah so the english and the japanese markets are a little bit different right now um but so in summary 151 is still crazy it's immensely popular um it's everyone wants to master set it. Everyone wants to rip 151. Um, it's bringing so many people back into the hobby. This is nothing new. We know this, right? So um, this is uh, what I want to touch on at the end of this video is with just how popular it is, how much it's still selling. I want to talk about the uh, reprint restock thing. Okay, let's address that. Um, I made a video a while back talking about um, the reprint. And it looks like I was wrong. I, I admit when I'm wrong. Um, I try to whenever possible. It looks, um, but I'm gonna give a little asterisk by it. And you'll see. It's anyways. It looks like what we're getting is uh, currently is a restock and not a reprint. Um, there is a difference. And um, just to touch on that real quick. So uh, I don't have access to a distributor. Um, but we were hearing from those who did that they were asking for allocations. Um, so Pokemon sends to just anyway, we don't need to get into the details too deep. Um, there's plenty of videos touching on that, but uh, sorry about that. But so they, the distributors are essentially saying, yes, you can have some booster bundles, but you're going to have to order some lesser desirable product to get the booster bundles because Pokemon gave them more um, leftover stock essentially. Um, that's pretty much the good way of putting it. Um, so that's kind of what a restock is. It's literally just a restock. It was available and it just got moved to them. A reprint is where they do a full thing and they print a lot more. Now, what I, where my asterisk is coming in on that is just something that I want to, uh, with the reprint. When you start to look at this, um, it's not hard to think about. It's not hard to come to the conclusion of that, uh, and especially when you look at what they did with Japanese, it's not hard to realize that English 151 is prime for a reprint. Okay, whether we if we get that this year, by the end of this year, there's still a lot of time before the holiday season, or and that's kind of when a lot of reprints happen. Um, when you start to look at what things are doing, they're just 
like I said, they're just steadily climbing up, right? Things are becoming expensive. They're gonna, if I had to, if I had to bet, they're going to reprint 151. It's, it's kind of a given. Um, that being said, I, I do want to put out there that, um, it is possible that they don't, um, but I think it's a very low chance. Um, it's too, it's just too popular of a set. It's going to get a reprint. Okay, guys. So just because we didn't get it when we wanted it, um, like I think we needed it this year at the end, the holiday season, um, is fine. Okay. You just have to, you got to be a little bit patient sometimes and understand that this reprint, um, is going to come later, going to come next year, most likely now. Um, it still could come this year. We, we don't really know. Um, anyone who says, like for um for certain that they know what box or cards are going to go to what price or what's going to happen uh, f for a guarantee we don't know i've always tried to be transparent about like i don't know for certain but this seems very likely so um i would say that it's very likely that we are going to get an english 151 reprint um they reprinted the absolute crap out of japanese 151 um with english being so popular why do they the pokemon company likes money okay they're gonna print it more it's gonna sell um and that pretty much is the summary of where this ends so once again to summarize i was wrong but i still think the reprint's coming it kind of only makes sense it's just not on the time frame it's kind of like um kind of like well i wasn't wrong but i just was wrong about the time i was early but i wasn't wrong kind of thing so um yeah, that's that's it. I just wanted to address that real quick, but um, super pumped about 151 where it's at. I still haven't master set it. I'm still working on it. Um, so I'm yeah, the reprint would be really nice so I could get on that. But um, that is gonna do it for this one, guys. I just want to do a little um, 151 update. I wasn't planning on doing it so soon, but I just took a quick gander at things and I was like, oh man, uh, might be time to touch on this stuff because it's. It's all hitting with the with the ETB hitting 70 bucks. It seems like kind of like a milestone. So I just wanted to touch on all this. Um, but that is going to do it for this one, guys. Um, if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, 17 minutes in, obviously you enjoyed the content. I do daily uh, collecting and investing content. So obviously you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. Um, do yourself a favor. Hit the like button while you're down there, and then leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think um, about the state of English 151. I know that um, I know that a lot of you guys would probably love to rip more. That's where I'm at too. So um yeah um that's gonna do it for this one guys i'll catch you in the next one uh and remember it was never a phase